What's going on guys? Thanks for checking out today's video. Uh, today we're going to change the way the steering wheel looks on the, on the Lexus. Um, I ended up getting a different horn switch. Um, I actually traded a buddy a steering wheel for this horn switch. I ended up with an extra steering wheel. I'm not going to tell you how, but I did. How's that steering wheel holding up? Is it falling apart? No. I'm going to ask you a question. Oh. Grease monkey mods. What's your question? How much do you like that steering wheel? How much would you pay for a steering wheel like that? I would pay half of what you paid. Half? Half what I paid? Yeah. Did he get it on sale or something? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess this will be in the video. Go ahead and go and look in the big bottom drawer. Big bottom drawer. Alright. What's he talking about? No, no, the toolbox, monkey. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of drawers to pick from. Okay. Big bottom drawer. Is this a shoebox? Yeah, I'm the steering wheel man. This is the same one you have, right? Uh-huh. What's the deal? Let's take a guess. Um, so. you, you're going to give it away? <laughs> and I'm going to win? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you got to buy a hub for it. They're cheap. I think I have a cereal on my shopping cart right now. <laughs> okay. like, I had ordered, or I had ordered steering wheels from two companies, uh -huh. and I canceled one of them. And they sent me this. The other company sent me this one one time, everything like that, because they told me it was back ordered. And uh, six months later, it showed up. The canceled one. And you got your refund and everything. Yeah, I got my refund right away. When they said it was on back order, I called them. Was like, cancel that. So so six months later, when it was in stock, they sent me another one. Some other complete company. And then they called me two weeks later, said. Did you receive a steering wheel? <laughs> <laughs> no. And I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, we have a tracking number that has a steering wheel. I, like, I don't even live there anymore, dude. So if there was a steering wheel there, the guy who lives there now has it. They're like, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool, man. So. so how much you want for it? I don't know. You said half of what I paid, so... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I really like the cereal. It's like, it's the shit. Maybe we can make a trade or something. Oh. Okay. Let's get the hub. Make a video and figure it out later. Okay. Alright. Deal. And, um... I went ahead and told him, Hey man, you give me this button, dude. I'll go ahead and I'll give you that steering wheel. And uh, he got it for me. I kind of wanted to change the look of the energy steering wheel because you know this thing's round, and I'd seen this, and that'll drastically change the way it looks. I figured, why not? I'd give it a shot. So we got this. I'm gonna put in, and to go with it, I got. I went ahead and decided to get some different color screws for it. So these are the gold. Um, so go ahead and install that. See how it goes. All right, so it's gonna be pretty easy. It's just a two-wire hookup, red and black. If you're having the steering wheel installed, you're just gonna cut the wires off the horn, wire these in. I'm just gonna use some uh, snow caps. I'm laying around. I'm not gonna solder it this time. Need some crimper strippers and some Loctite tape for the uh, the new screws. So I'll just go ahead and just take all these out, cut the wires, wire it up, and uh, throw the new screws in. So my buddy that I traded the steering wheel uh, to, he actually came over and we did a little video on how to install that on his 99 Civic. I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of that and how that went. All right, today we're gonna be installing this Energy Innovation steering wheel and most importantly, I'm gonna show you how to install it and get the horn to work. It might take some creativity because it has to rotate and maintain um, a good connection. So we're gonna figure that out today and hope you enjoy the video. I got this $10 hub off of eBay and it's pretty uh pretty cheap looking yeah. 
funny if this hub just breaks in half. It really doesn't want to go on there. never coming off. Yeah, eventually we end up getting it on there. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's kind of funny how that turned out. Uh, if you want to see that whole video, I can go ahead and make you that video if you want to see that. Do me a favor and leave, it, leave a comment tell me what you think about all that. Uh, uh, but we ended up getting it on there. It's pretty funny. Yeah, just going to pull these, uh, these screws off. And, uh, Again, yeah, this is real simple to do. No big deal. That hub never coming off unless we cut it off. And yeah, on this one, I didn't want to do a quick release on the steering wheel because I'm kind of a I'm kind of a taller guy, and I didn't want it way out here. I don't need it. I don't need it in my face. So just a regular energy hub, and I actually had like a little adapter. I had to buy the adapter for it because of the way this horn button was set up. It didn't give me enough clearance to put the steering wheel on without the horn going off. So. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to end up cutting it right here. Again, you probably want to put some Loctite. If you've never seen this this Loctite tape, it's pretty cool because it doesn't get messy. It's just some tape so you can just wrap around the threads. So I'm pulling a piece of the tape. Off. And then make sure you go same direction as the threads. So it doesn't come off. It's kind of a less, you know, of a mess way to do that. All right, there we go. Pretty cool looking. I really like the tapered screws and I like how they're gold. I changed the color. Horn, horn button works pretty good. I like how you can just hit the button whenever you need to use it. With the other one, I kind of was fumbling around whenever I ran into some you know, situations in traffic. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. The black really is kind of you know a little different than uh, than the trim ring. Like the trim ring really matched you know, the steering wheel, the, the, the finish on it, but it's black. That's black. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, drop them down in the comment box down below. I'll leave some links for you know the button and the screws, and uh, I'll leave a link for the video where I actually put this wheel in. I actually show you how to put this wheel in, hook up the horn correctly, bypass the airbag light. So check that out. Uh, you guys take care, be safe, have a great weekend. See you on the next one. Later. All right, so I got the, the hub installed. Um, it was pretty much a pain in the ass. I got the wrong hub. This is actually for a 92 through 95 Civic, and this is a 2000. So um, yeah, we had to make some uh, modifications, but I got it to work. So now that this is on here, now I'm gonna go ahead and figure out the uh, horn and the airbag situation for the airbag.